Um, congrats. Big, big step happening. Um, first off, did you know anything about that whole school shit? No. <laughs> I just thought that. Okay. Um, second of all, I've been asking players, like, as far as, um, you know, how do you balance, like, the Challenge Cup mid-season and regular yep. season since there's so much going on with, you know, Saturday's game and things like that? Well, we obviously rotated. Um, a few, quite a lot of players out of the starting eleven from from the weekend, and I think that we believe in the de depth of our roster. I think that it's important that we show that. Um, didn't quite go to plan with Quinny after coming, having to come off injured when they did, but outside of that, it pretty much went to plan. So um, yeah. So I think we just have to balance it. I think the fact that we're playing at noon on Saturday may be even more extreme. Yeah. And then final question. Um, as far as like thinking about that rotation and that balance um, with the Challenge Cup in season right now, like how do you feel like that's kind of preparing you for maybe when you have to do it later on in the summer as far as kind of getting those? Yeah, exactly. I think that's massive for us. Mm -hmm. I think the amount of play we're going to miss in the summer, it's important that we know what we look like when they're gone. We weren't in a position to really do that tonight um, just with stuff that people have got going on so it gave us a chance to rest Sammy and Bo, Bo to Nolo and um, we can obviously then potentially later on in the challenge but look to rest in the Alana, Sonics, all those guys that are going away so. Cool, appreciate it, thank you. Alright, looks like that's it for in-person questions so we'll take Bella next. Hey Laura, so I've got a couple for you. First up, um, Injury, if you have any updates on Quinn and Holmes who came off, and then also Rose who was listed out, um, as out for this game. Yeah, Quinn got a knock um, on their ankle. Um, we don't know too much about it as of now, but we'll get back to Seattle tomorrow and get it assessed. Um, Rose is still dealing with the thing she was dealing with from the national team, and we're trying to be very cautious not to rush her back. Um, and Shay, yeah, I think it was precautionary more than anything. Um, obviously, when someone's got a potential concussion, it was just it was really precautionary. Um, and then more on Holmes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. She's cr traditionally in her career played centre back. And she um, played left back for me at the U twenties. Okay, but at U Dub, she played centre back. Mm, the but the back end of her career there, yeah. I think earlier in her career. She, prior to COVID, she played a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so that was my misunderstanding then. Because um, I was wondering about the decision to play her at outside back and Sonnet at centre back if they were used to playing slightly different positions. But just overall, um, if you can speak on her performance um, as well as some of your other um, young players like Ryan Brown, who both of them seem to have pretty outstanding performances at outside back today, and then obviously Claudia Dickey um, in goal. Yeah, I thought they all stepped up, and I, you know, I said it before. I think we we used the women's cup last year to utilise our roster. Um, this year, we did it in the Portland tournament in pre-season, um, and we will be doing it throughout the Challenge Cup. I think it's really important that these players get a chance to play and get minutes, um, and get to see what the NWSL is really like. And I thought, yeah, I thought all three of them were great. Thank you. Sorry, I was just wondering if you could say anything more specific about any of them, especially um, Claudia and Tinkle, because it's other than the women's cup, I mean, it's her first NWSL minutes. Yeah, I thought Claudia was great. I've said before, I think obviously Fallon has done exceptionally well um, in her taking on the number one spot, but Laurel and Claudia are exceptional goalkeepers. We are very, very lucky to have the three that we have. And we will be using the Challenge Cup to showpiece that. And I thought Claudia did exactly what Claudia does every day for us. So it was no surprise really for us that she was as good as she was. She's exceptional with her feet. She has grown a lot in regards to how she manages the game, dealing with crosses. Um, she had to make a couple of saves tonight. Um, but I think just her management of the game was exceptional. Great, thank you. Great, so, uh, and then next we have Jonathan. Thanks, Ryan. Hi, Laura. Oh, you are up late, Jonathan. You are up yeah, late. Yeah, well, there was some news over here that I was going to ask you about. I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but you've probably heard it. It's coming. What's that? Right, as you guys were walking off the field, pregame, the U.S. announced it's bidding for 2027. Oh, I didn't know Mexico. that. Yeah. Um, what, what would it mean for the league and what would it mean for you if it, if it comes off? 
That's amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, you know, obviously everyone talks about the 99 World Cup and how impactful that was on women's soccer in this country. So to think that we could have it again um, here would be phenomenal. And I think with the explosion of the NWSL in the last year or so, um, it would be quite fitting that in four years' time we could have the biggest showpiece in the game. What would it mean in particular for player development? Because we know there's a raft of, you know, rookies, college prospects, kids coming behind them who are going to be so good. And, and, and what, what kind of a milepost would that put down? Yeah, it'd be huge. I think, you know, obviously being in the being in that role at the U20s for a, for a couple of years, I think uh, the Federation has done a really good job of prioritising to make sure that the, the pathway for the players has continued. Um, and having something like the World Cup in, in, uh, in your home country, I think it just elevates what you want it to look like, I think. So, you know, thinking about having a World Cup in 2027 and thinking who could be part of that. Obviously, you're seeing the likes of Alyssa Thompson and Jaden Shaw and all those guys who are already in the league. I think it would just even more shine a light on, on us as a league and making sure that we continue to grow and develop both, you know, on the marketing and exposure side, but also making sure that we're developing our own players throughout. As always, thank you. Congrats on the win. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jonathan. And then we have Susie. Hey, Laura. Um, Bobby talked a little bit about, um, you know, you didn't really know what Angel City was going to present, what kind of challenges mm -hmm. with it being a challenge cup, and um, needing to sort of see and absorb some of their pressure in the first half, half and adjust in the second, and thought the team did well there. I'm wondering if you could just talk a little bit more about maybe what kind of surprised the team and how they adjusted. Yeah, I'm not sure we thought they were going to change the way they played. I think we just didn't know which personnel was going to be on the field. Um, and I think, yeah, we just, they, they tried to overload us in the fullback positions. Um, and they got in once, I think the left back got shot off in the first half. And we spoke about that at half time, about how to solve that. And I thought like we did a, we did a much better job in the second half of... Uh, dealing with their threats, I think we limited the amount that they could get behind us in the second half, and we're very we're in a very aggressive defensive team, and I think you know when there's new people playing in certain positions, it can be a little bit daunting to be that aggressive um, when this is your first minute, you know. But sort of encouraging Ryan and Shay to be be like they are every day, and I thought obviously Ryan was in front of me in the second half. I thought she did really well in regards to that just in terms of like pushing and making sure that we were you know, really stepping higher up the field to put them under pressure, because they like to play. You know, I think if, you, if you're a team like them and a team like us who like to play, you have to try and solve that pressure. And I felt in the first half we didn't do enough of that, so I think that was our biggest shift in the second half. Thanks, Laura. See you Saturday. Thanks, Susie. Yeah, when's that, like 24 hours ago? In 24 hours away, game? Okay. Looks like that's it for Zoom questions, and I don't think we have any in-person questions, so it should be it. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Thanks guys. Everybody.